Thanks for popping by to AA Home Gardening. Today I'll be repotting my bay leaf. So this has been neglected for months upon months. Well, more than a year actually. So this is the dirt is all dry. I've actually planted loads of different things in there. So the bay leaves is coming up nicely and I definitely want to pay some attention to it now. So I'm gonna repot it, get rid of everything else, and hopefully it will continue to grow so I can start using the leaves. Okay, so that's my bay leaf. As you know, bay leaf is loaded with vitamin as well vitamin A, vitamin C, which is quite good. It has in iron and potassium, magnesium, and it also helps with lowering your blood pressure. Lots of people just use it in their stew, in their soup, and cook with it, but apparently, you can use the leaf make tea as well and it's good for treating migraines so anyone with a migraine then this is good for it i just tend to use it in cooking i don't really experiment with other things at the moment so the dirt is quite dry very very dry and all been used up there's no nutrients left in there so the first thing i have to do is remove i'm going to pack it in the same pot because it's a good size pot so i just need to remove everything from it take it out and then we can move from there so, first thing first is um, onions I had in here that I was using to try to see if I could root it to get some seeds. Where is it? Get some onion seeds, but I can't wait for that because I really need to pot it now. And this is just some beetroot seeds that I will dry out now because these are beetroots going to seed. There it is. There's a little reach it on the end. So I put that aside. This pot just had everything in it. It just didn't have any care. Everything was just tossed in it. But now I need to pay some attention to this bay leaf. So everything needs to go. Everything needs to go. Because there's so much nutrients to have from bay leaf. I can't just leave it sitting idle doing absolutely nothing so I need to start taking care of it now so that's my bay leaf it should be easy to come out because the soil is so dry oh. that's a shame isn't it they go dry and lucky nutrients look at all the roots needed space ages ago so that's definitely not good look at the root under there so it definitely re needed repotting ages ago so i'm just going to take off some of this soil and just make room for more soil so i just break off some of these dry bits here and this need a good watering it's so dry but if you can see here, there's another little, let me focus is right. There's another little bay leaf popping up there. The tree is popping up. There's another little plant right there. So at the moment, I had, at first I had one, the big one. Then it sent out a shoot. And now as you can see, there's another one. So even though it's been neglected, it's in good condition. So I'm quite impressed with that. So I get rid of all of those. And then I have some fresh soil in a container here. So I'm just going to put those in in this pot and repot it like that. So I fold it up halfway, halfway. Then I'm gonna just put the plant in and then put some more dirt in around it. There you go. 
I didn't want to disturb the root too much because as you can see there's new suckers and things coming through so I'm not gonna disturb it too much because it's a healthy plant even though I've been neglecting it you see new shoots coming out I guess the sunshine and the rain recently did wonders for it so I'm just gonna put some more dirt in there and just fill around it and that's easy these plants are so sturdy as, as I said to you I've neglected it and it still stay alive so it doesn't need a lot of care and never fed fed it while it's in a container i haven't given it any plant food or anything like that so they're hard to kill and there's a lot of nutrients in it so if you have a small space you too can grow a bay leaf and it's, it comes up it can it can become quite big so you can use it for bordering as well i can just use it for decoration in your garden so that should be enough soil for my bay leaf right there. It's actually a pretty, pretty, pretty sturdy plant. So that's looking much better than it was before. So it's in a container all by itself. It's not sharing the nutrients with any other plant. So in two months time, this should be twice the size it is now. And now I need to get rid of all the air pockets. So I just water it. There you go. And there you have my beautiful bay leaf all repotted and water and lovely so thanks for watching like share subscribe and click the notification bell